but things radically changed. Only 14% of the people had a bathtub. Now, I, I got six kids, five are daughters. I don't care if you got three bathrooms, you can't find one. They're <laughs> occupied. And if you get one, you better go in and lock the door and stay in there because you, you may not get it back. You know, well, 100 years ago, nobody had a bathtub. They had a bar ivory soap and they washed in the creek out back, you know. Uh, my grandparents had an outhouse that sat over the creek. We had a running water outhouse. It sat on two railroad ties and it was a two-seater. And I never could figure that out. Are you supposed to take somebody with you or do you sit on one side and look down the other? I never could figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Because I never took anybody. That's just not right. You know, it, only 8% of the homes had a telephone. Now, every one of my kids have a cell phone. If they come to my house, phones are ringing constantly. Man, 100 years ago, there was no phone. Only 8% had a phone, and half of those didn't work. You know, there are only, only 8,000 automobiles in the entire United States. Total. There are only 144 miles of paved highway. You have to worry about your kids speeding at night. Nobody could speed at night. The average speed limit was 10 miles an hour. If somebody's driving too fast, just lace your shoes up and run them down. You didn't have to worry about that. Well, today you and I are having to deal with things that nobody thought about dealing with 100 years ago. Why? Things have sped up. But God said in the last days, you'll run and you will not get weary. You'll walk and not faint. There's nothing about us sitting down. But God said this, I will be with you. We're in for incredible time. There's never been a better time to be married or get married, I promise.